Good morning. And today, since it's Christmas Eve, I've got something a little special here. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace goodwill toward men. If you've ever been out in the country or, you know, out in, out in a rural area where there's not a lot of light, you know that these shepherds that were out in these fields, they were in complete darkness other than perhaps a small campfire. And if you've been in that kind of situation, you know it can get really, really dark. You can't see very well in, in, in those conditions. Maybe there's some stars. Maybe there's even some moonlight. Uh, but if it's, if it's overcast, it's really, really dark. And it was in this setting... In that it was this setting that we were reading about, these shepherds were out in the fields with their flocks. And it was nighttime. So it was, other than their campfire, if it was overcast, we don't know if it, there were stars, but it was dark. There wasn't any light other than maybe, like I said, some stars, some, some moonlight, maybe uh, their campfire. But then this great light just shines all around them, lights everything up, brighter than noonday. And there was news in that moment. This was the herald of our God giving us this, this wonderful news. God has not been hiding God has been working behind the scenes to bring a Savior into the world to save us from the awful penalty of sin. What glorious news of joy! God visiting man in his sinful, degenerated state for just the briefest of times. The joyful shout of the heavenly host rang out in the ears of mortal man, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. What a wonderful, glorious shout of praise and adoration to a God whose love knows no bounds. The angels when they were speaking these things, they were referring to God. There is peace with God on earth. Now, as we all know, if you're paying any attention to current affairs, there's anything but peace among men, between men. There are wars and, and, and deaths and, and, and crimes and terrible things happening. Men doing awful things to other men. But on earth, we can have peace with God. We can have that joy that goes beyond any human comprehension with God. God has his desire 
to have peace with us. With us. His face is not against us. He only wants peace with us. His desire to have peace toward us and in his goodwill and in his good pleasure, Jesus was sent to be the redeeming sacrifice for you and I so that we can partake in his peace and experience his good will. Jesus more than likely wasn't born on December 25th. More than likely, and, and there's a whole teaching on it we won't get into in this, in this setting, but regardless of the day that Jesus was actually born, we can celebrate his birth every single day because he came to bring peace between us, a sinful, degenerated race, and our Creator who loves us more than anything else. So much so that he would create us in his own image. God loves us. And the angels of heaven, when the announcement was made, couldn't help but break out into praise and adoration towards God. Glory to God in the highest. What a wonderful scene that must have been. What a glorious event that mortal ears would hear the praises of heaven. What an incredible experience that must have been. And you can experience the glory and the honor and the praise of God in your own life by being born again. Jesus came. To bring peace between man and his God and his creator. And you can experience the joy and the adoration that the angels experienced. When you ask Christ into your life and you repent of your sin and you give your heart and life to God, we can at last have peace with God. And to the to the point where we along with the angels can thank and praise God for the beautiful news of Jesus each and every single day of the year. And as always, we love you and God loves you. God bless you. We're praying for you. Have a fantastic week in the Lord.